Scene 1. William Shakespeare's play Macbeth begins on a desolate heat. Three witches gather to discuss their plan and encounter Macbeth. They predict Macbeth rise to Thane of Cordor and his eventual kingship. To Banco, they predict a lesser but happier fate. Foreseeing that his descendants or children will inherit the throne, this scene establishes the supernatural element that shaped the tragic events in the play. Scene 2. King Duncan is informed of Macbeth's bravery. A wounded surgeon reports Macbeth's heroic deeds on the battlefield. Impressed by Macbeth's valor, Duncan announces Macbeth's promotion to the Thane of Cordor and decides to celebrate his success in Macbeth's palace. This marks the beginning of Macbeth's, Macbeth's ascent in power. The witch's first prophecy comes true. This moment plants the seed of ambition in Macbeth and here begins his internal struggle and eventual descent. Your Majesty, I bring another news for you from Battlefield. Speak, messenger. What news do you bring? Macbeth, sire, he fought with unmatchable bravery and skill. His valor turned the tide of battle in our favor. Macbeth, tell us more of his deeds. 
He fought fiercely against our enemies. Your Highness, his sword was like lightning, striking fierce into the hearts of our foes. His courage and strategic brilliance were unparalleled. Remarkable! Someone may but at once. I wish to honor him for his service and valor. from her husband, Macbeth, detailing the witch's prophecies as his new title as a Thane of Kodor. She becomes determined to seize the opportunity for Macbeth to become king. She calls upon evil spirit to strip her of her feminine qualities and fill her with cruelty. Intending to overcome any moral hesitation and assist Macbeth in the, in the murder of King if the act had no aftermath, I would do it. We can succeed. I thought about it carefully. Duncan will sleep tonight and the guards will be drunk and asleep. It's our perfect opportunity. But what if we fail? What if we are caught and punished? We won't fail. Leave the plan to me. We will make it look like the guards killed Duncan. No one will blame us. Your words give me courage. I'll do it. We'll proceed with that plan tonight. Greatness awaits. You'll be king, and together we shall be. Scene 5. Finally, Macbeth kills King Duncan, spurred on by his ambition and manipulated by Lady Macbeth. He skillfully enters Duncan's chamber while he sleeps and his attendants were drunk. Overwhelmed by conflicting emotions and his wife's influence, Macbeth commits the murder to fulfill the witch's prophecy. The act marks a critical turning point in the play, setting up a chain of events that will lead to Macbeth's guilt, paranoia, and a downward spiral to, to tyranny. Scene 6. Next, Macbeth summons the witches for apparition. 
He seeks to know more about his future and potential threats. The witches conjure three apparitions to answer his questions. The first apparition warns Macbeth to beware of Macbeth. The second assures him that can, he cannot be harmed by any man of woman born. The third tells Macbeth he will be safe until Burnham Wood comes to Dunstan Hill. These prophecies provide Macbeth with a false sense of security as they are later revealed to be cleverly misleading, contributing to his tragic downfall. Let them never happen. How can a forest move? But I still have 
Thank you. 